how do you gain so. stage? I'll tell you how I can how I gain stage and what my point mm-hmm. of view is on gain stage. And I, I want to hear yours. Like in FL, you, I start with that step sequencer mm-hmm. and how it has that that knob that's usually like at ninety percent or whatever. The volume knob on the, the left next knob. to the panning knob. I'll set everything at like that fifty percent mark. Um, so that way everything that's coming through is just at like a headroom level. Um, and then you from, know for a fact you're not going to be clipping. Yeah, exactly. And then, or if you are clipping, it's because you went back and we're just like, mm. yeah, mm-hmm. I want a little extra yep. right there. It's a wanted clip. If yeah, you want it's it. a wanted there. Yeah. yeah. And then you know, because then any headroom that is you know um, that is imposed upon by like any clipping, you're just doing it because you're like you know. But again, you only learn that once you realize about like the gain staging thing, where you're pulling things back in order to give more shine mm-hmm. to certain other elements. Yep. So like. When you first start gain staging too, you'll notice like all of a sudden, damn, why is it like every time like my sub is so loud now? Oh, it's because I'm gain staging now and like relearning effectively like how I'm mixing. Yeah. But like once like when you want something louder, sometimes you need to make something else quiet. Yeah, for real. You know what I mean? I mean, because you only got so much room at the end of the yeah. day too. Like, yeah, like you said, you got to – a lot of times that's what it is. Mm-hmm. A lot of times it's like, damn, the snare isn't like – peeking through my mix the way I want it to. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's not turning the snare up. Maybe it's turning mm-hmm. the melodies down that are kind of like yeah. hitting the same frequency range. Or sometimes it's not about um, EQing something out mm-hmm. to get rid of, or to or like, e- or EQing something up like the snare. Like, you know, instead... It's EQing, dipping the, you know, mm-hmm. like maybe sometimes you have a melody it's not even bus. about that. You just, yep. is your shit gain stage yeah. the right way? Or exactly. the way that you need it to be? Exactly. You know? So like, yeah, I'm pretty much... A very similar process to gain staging in FL. The way I do it is like, say, if I'm cooking up a beat and I start with, uh, I start with a melody. I mm-hmm. might not gain stage that right away, but as mm-hmm. soon as I know I'm gonna add another plugin or another melody on top of it, I go to that first one. I'm not doing it like in the step sequencer, but I'm doing it like inside whatever plugin it is. So like oh, yeah, inside the yep. plugin, which is the same thing. It's literally you see the knobs moving at the same time, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So like it's that same exact thing. I'm pr- Turning that down to like fifty percent, yeah. And I'm not even like a lot of a lot of people ask me like, what level are you gain staging? I don't even worry about the dB that it's hitting. I mm-hmm. know for a fact, pretty much any plugin, uh, if I turn it down to like fifty percent, forty five, whatever percent, I'm gonna be good. And then I kind of like use that as a baseline yeah. from there on out. Add another melody. As soon as I bring the next plugin in, as I know it's gonna be too loud, I'm turning mm-hmm. that down to fifty. Yeah. I go even to the point where, say, if I'm cooking up and I forget to kind of gain stage, I'm in that moment where I'm not gain staging at all and everything's, like, all over the place. It's clipping on my master because I don't even have anything on my master <laughs> yeah. yet, yeah. not even a soft clipper. That's how, that's and I'm like, yo, why does this 808 sound so distorted right now? Yeah. I'm like, oh, I haven't gain staged anything yet. I haven't even put a soft clipper on my master, nothing mm-hmm. yet. Typically, that's when I know the vibe is right on the beat. Yeah. If it's just, like... I didn't touch any of the levels. I'm just making this thing yep. hit. You know yep. what I mean? So sometimes yeah. I'll just go back and then I'll go 50. I'll go copy. I'll copy that knob. And then I'll just like paste it on the other knobs yeah. all, all the way through the mix. And then, you know, I kind of go from there. And then I'll move it into the mixer mm-hmm. and, and just start mixing from there. But yeah, I mean, gain staging is everything. You create so much more room for yourself by doing that. And mm-hmm. it's just a good habit to get into. I get in, I've get i gotten for into sure. like such a good habit. Another way is it's like say if I'm mixing other people's music. Say if you send me stems, right? Uh-huh. You send me all your stems. The way I gain stage that is slightly different than I do if I'm producing a beat from scratch. Mm. The way I gain stage that, and this might be, it might seem stupid to some people, but it might, maybe I'm creating more work for myself. I don't know. But what I'm doing is I'll take all of the clips, and I wish there was a shortcut for this. So FL, if you're listening, please, this is, I've gotten asked this too. Make please. a short, make a shortcut for this. Normalizing. I'll go into all True. the audio clips right. yeah, you and I want to normalize every single one in one shot. Maybe mm-hmm. it's maybe it's already it already exists and I don't know. So let me know in the comments if it is. Uh, but I don't think so. I would have heard about I have it. yeah. I would I think I would have heard, heard about, about that by now. What? But image line, we need it. Because I get asked a lot and I've been asking a lot. I've been wondering if this is gonna happen. But I'll go into every audio clip, I'll normalize it so mm-hmm. it goes to the loudest before you know it clips. I, that's just something visually the clips and this was before the clip gain and before you could zoom in like I've always wanted to just see the clips in a bigger form so I know what I'm looking at I know what I'm doing I'm yeah. a visual guy I want to see it big so you know you get vocal takes and they're like so thin and, and small <laughs> yeah. I need to see it because if I'm editing and I'm chopping stuff up mm. I want to see what I'm chopping up so I normalize it bring it up then I go 50% copy that knob nor- and then before the 
before the crossfades in the playlist in the the new one of the newer updates, mm. I would have to do generic bleeding on every generic single one. Bleed, so yeah. I would go to de-clicking mode and generic bleed on every single one. So my process took me probably if I had a track that somebody sent me and it had 50 stems, it would take me a while, but saves me so much. Uh, headspace in the future because yeah. it's just like if I have that set now I know I can go in on the mix so I would pull up an audio clip I would uh, gain stage 50% on the volume mm -hmm. normalize it de-clicking mode generic bleeding on every single every audio single clip one, oh no yeah. <laughs> my bad one thing that I missed is I'll send it to the mixer too so I'll click the little track button in the top mixer mm -hmm. so that way it sends it to the mixer yeah and names it 